Hello there, Mr. K here, the Mediocre Painter, and I've been doing YouTube videos to help you get into the wargaming hobby because I made the mistakes so you don't have to. So today, I achieved something. I actually finished a very significant project I've been working on, probably for, I don't know, maybe three weeks or so, something like that in my spare time and things like that. And that is basically completing all the races that you can play in Blitz Bowl that they give you um, rules for out of the box, including actually Dark Elves, which they supply um, a bit later in cards that were in White Dwarf. And the, the goal for me was, well, you know, can I actually fit everything, you know, in the box? You know, so I built these sort of um, trays to hold the models actually inside so here we've basically got the scaven, the humans that are supplied with the set, the orcs, so a chaos team, elf team, a dark elf team, and the die and that are used to play the game. Um, I still actually have some of the tokens uh, you know, to completely finish, to be perfectly honest. They, they still need a, a little, a little, a little work and there's a couple of the balls that I need to finish. But you know, by and large it's nearly there. And then basically I've got a tray here for the goblins and a tray here for the dwarves because they're slightly shorter so they fit in a tray that sort of sits up. Um, and then inside the actual box itself we basically got you know the main plane areas and the two card sets here. Actually I put them, we see that a bit more clearly there. And so basically the entire set of races that are available to play actually fit in the actual base box. So when I actually take this to people's houses to actually play the game, we can pick and choose the races that are actually available in the game to actually play. I really like this game. It's cool, it's a great little introduction game to actual you know, Blood Bowl, which is in itself kind of an introductory game as well. It's Really nicely simplified. Anybody can pick it up. You can play it up in 35, 40 minutes. It's fantastic. I speed painted all of this lot. Um, I haven't speed painted for quite some time. Though, to be honest, there is actually a certain amount that you can't cut corners with. Like orcs and goblins are actually kind of difficult to cut total corners with um, when you actually paint them. Anyway, so I'll sort of just do a quick whiz through of uh, how I painted each one and and then I'll finish the video. Okay, let's start with the humans. So the humans, you get this in the set. The set is sold in the US, you can't get it in the UK unfortunately, but these are push to fit minis. I think they're actually the minis that they use in the main Blood Bowl game actually to be honest. They're a yellow plastic, they push to fit together really nicely because they're a little bit softer and I kept it very simple when I was painting these fellas. I basically did a flash wash first, um, sorry not a flash wash, a, but a flash base coat first and then using an avaland basically for the armour and then a wash with a sepia and then just used a black to basically alternate the patterns on, on the guys. Picked out some things, you know, using a bit more flesh like the um, the bindings on their chest and things like that, a little bit of silver around the masks. Didn't do any eyes or anything like that, and just picked out a, a bit of silvers here and there. Kept it very, very simple. Um, limited amount of highlighting I did actually on the skin. You can't really not get away with that. You have to do a little bit of highlighting, but other than that, painted it really, these guys, as, as fast as I possibly could. And uh, I'm really quite pleased with the way that these these um, these turned out. You know, sometimes the you know the actual quality of the models themselves really really helps you. And these models are a really nice standard. So I was actually a bit apprehensive about painting these guys because I've never really painted Blood Bowl miniatures before. And but I'm actually really pretty darn pleased with the way that they turned out. And um, if I can get them actually into focus, so you can actually see. Okay, moving on to the orcs. Again, these are push-to-fit minis that come with the set. They're not great push-to-fit minis. Um, bits don't push fit right and so on. They are a very hard red plastic, which makes them difficult to actually push to fit together. So you do have to glue them, 
particularly this fella here, the thrower, bit of a nightmare, head kept on falling off, real pain in the butt. I had a little bit more fun with these guys because it's quite difficult really to paint orcs quickly because you do have to spend a little bit of time kind of getting the flesh right. You know, you're going to be basing them, um, washing it and then highlighting up with another colour in order to basically get them to look right. you got to really pick out the eyes and, you know, red's a little bit uh, can be a little bit tricky to get a nice in and a smooth tone on it and things like that. So these took a little bit longer to do than the humans. The humans probably less than an hour a miniature. These are probably pushing two hours a mini. Had a little bit more fun with them. Um, you know, I did the striping on them, you know, to make them a bit more interesting. Um, I did quite enjoy that. I mean, a lot of people do that with the, uh, the old orc miniatures. And uh, yeah, these guys are really characterful models, really nice uh, sculpts. They're absolutely super, really. I, I enjoy painting these a great deal, though these did take you know quite a lot longer than everything else I painted in this set, other than maybe the goblins, and more on those, more on those in a moment. Yeah, so just a quick rundown of how we actually went about painting them. So basically I based them actually in a, in a white here and then used a goblin green for the flesh, green ink, highlighting the goblin green. I used a cardor red as the red, which is a really, really nice red, got really nice coverage. And then used a bit of brass here and there, a bit of silver here and there, and sort of flesh tones on the strapping and things like that. Sepia wash um, generally but sepia mixed with an agrax on the actual armor itself and um, which is why it sort of turned out a little bit shiny as, as here you can see um, but still it works quite well for tabletop miniatures I'm pretty pleased with them the only thing left I've got to do is basically varnish them I'm going to varnish them all actually to be honest okay so these are the chaos team now these fellas are the Doom Lord set and it was my first exposure to the modern Blood Bowl sets that you get and to be perfectly honest I absolutely hated the construction of them they're really really fiddly and require quite a bit of patience in order to get them right I hated it and to be honest that's reflected in the painting um, I didn't really spend a lot of time on any of these painting wise they're not as well painted up as the others so basically I think I did on the Chaos Warriors I did basically a, a flesh um, base coat and then a sepia wash and then just used a red with sepia wash everywhere I guess the only thing I did do uh, on the shorts here basically I did a grey with a black wash and then a dry brush, a white dry brush. The Beast Man basically I did in a, a brown, I think a bestial brown actually, with basically a dark um, brown wash, which is basically a normal brown wash with a bit of black mixed in and then just picked out everything else in the red uh, and the like. Used a gold with um, an Agrax wash basically on it. The horns were basically a flesh with, a, with an Agrax. Nothing fancy. These ones were very, very quick, um, to be honest, because I just wasn't feeling it with these guys because they were so frustrating to actually put together in the first place. And I was like, oh, these are terrible. And I just didn't have the inspiration like I had with the with the orcs and the humans. You know, and sometimes those things happen to you and you basically, you just uh, can't, can't motivate yourself to actually put the, the serious amount of work in. And these probably took, you know, less than an hour a mini easy. Probably 40. Okay, so the Trixie Elves. This is my second experience with, um, you know, the Blood Bowl box sets in terms of, you know, assembly and so on. And these, again, are fiddly to put together, but no, not as bad as the Chaos team, and certainly not as bad as the Dark Elves, who were just the bleeding worst to put together. They were just terrible. But these... I'd sort of managed to assuage my frustrations and actually, you know, had a pretty fun time actually painting these. I landed on a pretty good colour scheme fairly early on, which I kind of liked, which is basically, you know, I 
base coated them in a flash again and then used a sepia wash for the flesh but used like a amethyst um, purple with a purple wash some gold with agrat shading and the, you know the hair is just a yellow with a, a little bit of sepia thinned down nice and simple you know, try to basically add an additional color here with a little red with it you know on the um, the bindings there and things like that I didn't do anything with the backers or the blockers in terms of the face just kept it nice and simple kept it with a wash um, no significant highlighting going on here other than really the two guys have actually got some faces where I actually did you know I actually don't know that you can really see that here because I can't I haven't got a steady enough hand um, but I did spend a bit of time actually doing the uh, the face on on the two guys have actually got a face you know because I figured that they were they were worth it and actually you know both models are actually in particular really quite cool so I did spend a little bit of time doing the face there so but overall again though probably um, a little over an hour probably per mini on these guys because the faces I spent a little bit of time actually doing a bit more probably 20 minutes 30 minutes on the faces on either one of those just trying to get it a little bit uh, more defined very much enjoy painting these models though because they're very characterful and actually I did break the finger on actually one of the models and I had to use a bit of green stuff I think it's on this guy and it actually didn't turn out too bad so um, I managed to save myself a, uh, a lot of grief there so that was quite good um, but yeah I'm quite pleased with the way that these ones they were a joy to, to actually paint if not to assemble ah more Trixie elves this time though this time it's the dark elves these um, are maybe the worst minis I've ever had in a Games Workshop plastic set to assemble. They're just horrible. Just to give you an idea of why they're absolutely horrible, you know, the, you know, the spike on these, on these, some of these models you have to actually put in. The spikes on the legs you got to put in, and they're separate pieces. It's just, it's just horrid to actually put these things together. You need a pair of pliers and some patience. It's just ridiculous however the models are pretty cool and dark elves are one of the best blood bowl teams in my opinion um, really got some nice moves going on they can slug it out with the best of them but where, as well as run rings around you and throw it about a bit the models are cool um, but I kept it really simple I actually used contrast paints on these just to give an idea of how much faster it might be so this is an Achaean green with the Ultramines blue and the Blood Angels red. And then um, in terms of the skin, I just basically did a grey with a blue wash and then a highlight back up with the grey. Kept it very simple, little picking a few things out and highlights out with silver. Um, but really the only highlighting I did was a little bit a little bit of white on the actual face and the hands on each of these models. So these were super fast to paint. Contrast paints, if you can paint accurately, really do save you a lot of time. I probably didn't spend longer than 35-40 minutes on each of these. And the standard is perfectly reasonable for tabletop um, gaming. I can come back to them at a later date as well and uh, update them if I wanted to, you know, make them look a bit better. But I'm really pleased with the way that they turned out. I hated the assembly of them though. Absolute nightmare. Ah, the dwarves. Probably my favourite Blood Bowl team. I actually got these uh, online on eBay, and actually, they, a couple of them were actually pre painted. And um, this guy here already was already painted, and it wasn't actually that bad. Um, though, admittedly, it's probably a bit darker skin than I would normally paint a dwarf, but actually, not too bad. So, I just did a little bit of highlighting, tied it up a bit, and I was like, okay, I can use that, no problem. Um, so it didn't actually give any claims, you know, in terms of, oh yeah, it's pro-painted or anything like that on eBay, which is, you know, unusual. But it actually wasn't too bad, so certainly reasonable, and this, I think, was the other one. It's quite good, kept it very simple on these guys, basically, focus a bit on the beards, make sure they all have different beard colours, so they're easy to pick out when you actually play them. Just a gold with basically a mix of a sepia wash with an Agrax and then a, a, a blue with a, a blue wash mixed with a little bit of black just to you know do the the main sort of um, body of the characters very simple keep it simple base is just a sand with 
a, a grey and a black wash and then highlight and a white you know keep it really easy so yeah these were super quick to, to paint you know less than an hour a mini they come out quite well um, very characterful models actually the Troll Slayer in particular is one of my favourite uh, Blood Bowl miniatures it's absolutely awesome and I'm very much looking forward to playing these fellas because th they're always been my favourite Blood Bowl team ah the rat men now these are the best sing fixed posed miniatures in terms of the regular sprue type and the non uh, push to fit that I've ever come across they're very nearly push to fit minis even though they're regular sprue minis and they're really easy to assemble two or three pieces and you push them together there's lots of overlap for you to put the glue on and push them together and they're absolutely fantastically sculpted miniatures they paint up really really well i'm really pleased with the way that these guys came up absolutely super i basically did it i kept it very very simple i painted them black and then did a dry brush in the silver on the armor and then uh, purple on the clothing with a you know a, a non oil wash and then used a pink <coughs> with an agrax and um, quite kept it quite simple and just highlighted the mouth in a flesh with the teeth and a white and a pink on the nose very very easy to do really easy to assemble these are certainly my favorite minis of the blood bowl range in terms of assembly they're absolutely outstanding they paint up really really nicely whoever sculpted these really needs to have a round of applause because they were actually thinking about modelers when they made them because they actually thought oh i don't i want this to be easy to put together and i want them to look cool as well and it can be done you know it can be done so i have to admit i really really like the way that these turned out and uh, absolutely superb and i'd like to see more of this sort of standard of stuff you know for these sort of fixed pose miniatures the only thing i would say is they are relatively delicate and I've already had um, one of these minis have his tail snap when I put him in the box so you have to be just a little bit careful maybe perhaps store them on their side like that when you're, you've got them rather than you know standing up in, in a box when you're transporting them I would say because they, they, they will snap fairly easy to apply just a little bit of super glue but nonetheless they are delicate minis but they look awesome <clears throat> and fantastically easy to put together Okay, so last we have uh, the Gobbos, oh, the Scar Scrag Snippical and Box Set. Now, in, Bl in Blitz Bowl, what they try and do is to even it up a bit for the old uh, Goblins, is to have a mate rather than six man team. And also, the rules are they can run past the opponents to try and even it up. So, it actually makes the Goblos almost competi competitive. Did these very simply. These are actually quite tricky to paint though because they're a smaller miniature and there's a little bit of details on them. So I just tried to do them basically with a yellow and a basically with a yellow on them with a sepia wash, then basically a grey and a black wash on their main body, a bit of brown. In the traditional way, you know, I do all my goblins and orcs really is um, kind of the same way, which is basically a gobbo green. with a green ink and then highlighting the goblin green again very simple quick to paint though actually to be honest these probably took a fair amount of time each because doing yellow is a little bit on the tricky side to do you know you have to do a bit of um, a number of coats and things like that so these probably took over two hours a mini which is probably more than any of the other minis really i've got in here um, because of that and also been being eight of them it was a bit of a chore and this, this is actually one last dude I haven't quite finished his face yet as well but anyway I'm practically there so uh, I, I thought I'd show it okay so this is the actual box itself with everything in it these are the cards that you play with I put them in plastic to basically protect them um, so no real trickery here I basically created a uh, cardboard tray that fits in here that can house the miniatures and the die if we just uh, there we go and if see you can fit one two three four five six six teams in there and then 
The shorties are our dwarves. You can see I put I have to put this guy on his side, otherwise he won't actually fit. That will go quite nicely in there, like so. And then we've got the same thing going on with the goblins. Again, there's eight of these guys though, so you need a slightly bigger tray. Put them on the side on the taller ones and they'll fit quite nicely in in there. Now at the moment of truth, I've not actually done this yet, is will actually the lid actually go on top? That is the main question. So here goes, here's the top. Oh, it does actually work. So there we go. We've actually managed to achieve what we set out to do, which is have a very heavy box full of miniatures to play bits ball with. Well there you go, that's that's how I put it all together and um, it was very enjoyable and I'm looking forward to playing it with um, with people when they come over. Now I've got all the races in that box. It's really nice to know that they're all in one place. And obviously I've had to buy the complete Blood Bowl sets in order to uh, build that because um, that just really ended up being the most efficient way to do to do these things. So other than the human team and the orcs which I got with the set to begin with, I do actually have four Blood Bowl teams knocking around. So I should be able to you know, expand myself and start playing Blood Bowl again because I haven't played Blood Bowl probably since like second or, or third edition and it, it is a, a great little game. Anyway, I hope you found that interesting. Uh, if you did, please like, subscribe, we'll be doing more. I'll see you next time.